Hello friends, welcome to Code Sutra. In this video, we will be solving lead code 2448. In this problem, we are given two arrays. One is the nums array and the other one is the cost array. So, in this problem, we have to convert all the numbers or make all the numbers equal to one number. So, what does that mean? Say you want to convert all this number to one, 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 one. So, how you can actually do it? But there is a cost associated with this change. That is, if you want to convert this 3 to this 1, for every step you have to pay a cost of 3. That is, what is the difference between 3 and 1? That is equal to 2. And every step you have to pay a cost of 3. That is equal to 6. So, just to change this 3 to this 1, you have to pay a cost of 6. Then again, this 2 will become 1. There is a difference of just 1. So, you have to pay a cost of 14. Again, this 5 to 1. 4 into 1 that is you have to pay a cost of 4. So this will be the total cost of changing this array to this array. So what do we have to do? We have to find the minimum cost that is required to make this array equal. That is all the numbers are equal here. That is 1, 1, 1, 1. So you have to change the initial array to this array with the minimum cost possible. So that is the problem. So let's find out the brute force approach first. First thing is, can we agree that the range that we want to change the numbers, either you will change it to 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5. You don't want to either change it to 0 or 6. Why? Let me explain. Say for 1 only we got 24. Suppose we want to change it to 0. It will be more than this value, right? Why? Because apart from changing all this to 1, we still additionally have to change this also and all of them will have to go one more step that is the cost array will increase by the total sum so it will never be zero and the similar ways if you have got the answer at five then if you are changing into six it won't make any sense because you will be adding all of this once again so the answer will definitely be in the range of one to five so that that is for sure next thing what we have to do here is if you observe a pattern here this number is increasing all along and then again decreasing for example if you take this example you will find out that is this sum is decreasing first and then it is increasing the same goes with any number 14 is also decreasing first and then it is increasing why this happens is because as you approach the same number the number will decrease either that is what is the minimum? That is 1 and 3. So, our sum will keep on decreasing as it comes nearer to 3 and it will increase further as it goes away from 3. That is 4, 5 and 6. So, that is what is happening here. If you look at this thing and this pattern is also same. That is the sum is decreasing. We can observe a pattern here. That is the sum for every number and the total sum is decreasing and then it will be increasing this can be like this or this can even be like this or very perfectly like this but the point here is our sum is decreasing then our sum is increasing so we now have a range that is the range is equal to min and the max you cannot have the answer above this then we have a pattern that is the sum is decreasing and then it is increasing. So what do we have here? We have some binary search, right? Why? Because the answer is decreasing and then increasing. So we will be using binary search to solve this problem. So how do we use binary search? First thing is we will set our range to min and we will set our range to max. For example, in the first case, our mid will be equal to, let's take left is equal to 1, right is equal to 5. Our first mid value will be equal to 3. Let's find out how much cost it will take for 3. As we have calculated here, for 3, it will take a cost of 20. The cost is 20. And let's also find out what it will take for 4. Because we have to know if the number that is 3 is either here or it is here. So what do we do here is we will find out the next number. That is we will also find out 4s. So what is for 4? Four, it will be if you look here for 4 it is 38 so if for 4 it is 38 on which side of the curve it is it is on this side right so what we can simply do is 
our answer will be in the range of 1 to 3 and it can never be 4 and 5 because 4 and 5 is on this here so we can safely eliminate 4 and 5 from this search space and our answer will be in the range of 1 and our right will become equal to 3 now so what is the mid value now it is equal to 2 mid equals to 2 Again, what we can do is we can find the same approach for two. How much? What is the cost that it took for two? It took eight and it will be eight comma 20 for two. It took eight and for three. It took 20. So where does our answer lie? Our answer lies again on this side. So our new right will be equal to two and our left will also be equal to sorry left will be equal to 1 and right will be equal to 2 and our updated answer will be 8 so we can safely eliminate 3 from the search space then we have 1 and 2 again 1 will be greater than 2 so we will be safely eliminating 1 also finally we have the answer at 2 which is equal to 8 so that will be our final answer so let's dive into the code part so here we will be having two function one is the helper function and one is the main function before diving into the code part, I have an announcement. We are coming up with a course where you are as a developer, if you have less than one year of experience, you can learn how to increase your salary as a software engineer. We are coming up with this course. Please stay tuned and subscribe to the channel for more updates. So what we'll be doing here is we will be having a helper class. What it is just doing is we have the base number. For example, two, uh, let's take the initial array only. 1352 is our initial array so what we will be doing is what is the cost required to convert all of these numbers to 2 that is what we will be doing here and why i am putting this as 0l and here also why 1l why i just can't write 0 and why i can't write as 1 it is because this nums of i is an integer and it will result in a overflow so that is why i am converting this to 1l just so that the number won't overflow so we know the call calculating the cost this is the first step that will be using a helper class then will be we know the range that is both that is that will be equal to minimum and maximum values that we can get from the array now we know the range for example 1 and 5 then we will be calculating the mid value at every step that is in this case the first mid value will be 3 and we will be finding the cost of both 3 and the next number and what we will be doing is we will be eliminating the search space either we will be eliminating the right part or we will be eliminating the left part so that is what we are doing here and at every step if you see here we are updating the answer here at every step the answer is not equal to this number that is 3 or 2 but it is equal to the total cost associated with that particular number so that will be our answer and finally we will be returning the answer thank you for watching the video please do like share and subscribe